Hey, what's up guys? This is John from Back on the Road DIY. Today, I'm here at work. I'm in my truck and the windshield is very dirty. And um, I shouldn't be driving like this. So I'm gonna show you the way that I like to clean my windshield and the windows so I have like crystal clear view all the time. Um, gonna show you how to do it, how to get it, because this is very important. You need to see clearly when you're driving on the road. Um, gonna show you the the materials that I use and we'll jump straight to the video here guys today we're gonna be using a glass cleaner I have a multi-surface cleaner I would rather a degreaser but that's what we have today alcohol Mr. Clean Magic Eraser spray wax and microfiber towels don't use paper towels please please use microfiber you could buy them at the dollar store buy a couple of them and you should be good. It's better than paper towel. Okay guys, let's jump to the video. Okay guys, here um, I'm, I'm gonna put some, in your case, if you have a degreaser, it will be a lot better. So you just throw a lot, uh, you throw the degreaser on the windshield and you put some on the, on the magic eraser. If you if you could get a, a clay bar that would work way better, but I get good results with the magic eraser and since it's not that expensive, that's why I, I like it and I use it everywhere. So you spray the product, the first um the degreaser on the windshield and you just start um working the the magic eraser all over the place. Try to um if you can get some some shadow, you could do that. Try not to do it at, at the sun, but I don't get problems with it. I get good results. So, and you know, as a truck driver, a lot of times you just gotta work with what you got. You know, right here, no shadow. I needed to clean it, so I just try to do it quick, not let it dry, because if it dries before I clean it with the microfiber, with the microfiber, I get those water spots. But even though it's not it's not a big problem because I'm gonna be um cleaning it with the uh, glass cleaner and alcohol, so it's not really a problem. But I try to get some in some shadows to get um better results. Okay, here I just did the degreaser on this side, on the driver side. You guys see that how the towel got very dirty. You could also spray some some cleaner on the on the wipers if you want. Um, right there, I was gonna do that, but I don't know, I forgot. Then, um, right now I'm cleaning the the window on the side and the the mirrors. I'm doing the same steps on the mirrors and on the sides. Right here, I'm coming to the other side. Start with the the mirrors. Then I'm going to do the, the other side, the, the mirrors on the other side and the window. Now here on the passenger side, putting some, some degrees here on the windshield. And always remember to um throw a little bit of product on your on the um, magic eraser so that's what activates um the, the abrasive that it has in it and that's why it works very good because it has some abrasive so it takes off all the um all the stuff from from the environment that gets stick to the windshield because the glass the glass cleaner itself doesn't have like the power to to get rid of all of it so that's why it's always good to do this step before um, you put the glass cleaner. It's like cleaning the, the windshield, basically. So in this case, we're using a magic eraser, and it works perfectly. I love the result that, that I get with it. Right after, um, right after this step, we're gonna go and get our um, alcohol to remove all the the chemicals 
that are left over from from the degreaser so we want to get rid of those because that's going to cause the, the windshield to haze if we leave those on the windshield so we want to get rid of them i'm using some 70 percent isopropyl alcohol and 30 percent distilled water that's what i have in the alcohol bottle um here i start spraying the all the windshield with the alcohol and in this step guys you gotta be very quick you gotta throw alcohol and always change your microfiber this is a new microfiber towel um and as soon as you spray it you wipe it because alcohol um evaporates very quickly so you want to make sure you, you you put some alcohol on the microfiber and on the windshield and then wipe it off quickly so you can get rid of all the the residue from the degreaser here I'm doing the window on the passenger side and I'm about to do the the passenger side um windshield and you guys are gonna see how as soon as I apply um alcohol I start taking it off what I'm rubbing it with the microfiber because we wanna and as right now you guys can see how the left side looks better the driver side looks better than the passenger side just with the alcohol you're getting ready watch breathe that little part and then start wiping it and you guys can see how much cleaner it, it starts to look right after the alcohol is because it, it it gets rid of all the um residue from the from the chemicals of the degreaser after those two steps finally we're here with the glass cleaner and remember, you need a new microfiber towel for this as well. And on this case, I'm doing it just like with the alcohol because it's, it's kind of hot outside. So I'm working in straight sunlight and you should be in like in the shadow. It works better on a cool surface. So that's why um, one side I used to spread the... Um, the glass cleaner and the other side I start buffing it and you're gonna re you're gonna repeat these steps on all on the windshields and the mirrors and the windows on the side and I know guys you're gonna you guys are gonna love this because having some clear view windshields is the best thing at especially at night you know in these trucks where you a lot of times you you get um salt and all this kind of dirt on the truck you you want you want those windshields to be clean trust me in the passenger side um mirror trust me you're gonna appreciate this because that's the one because you know the driver side mirror when it gets dirty you could just open the window and wipe it off real quick but the passenger side it's always a pain so the last step that we're gonna take on this is gonna be the magic. Is that is what's gonna make this different than everybody else and it's gonna make it last longer and be easier to clean for next time. Now after the third step, I'm moving um inside the truck and I'm gonna I'm going to clean the inside part of the windshield with the with just with the glass cleaner um mine is very clean that's why usually every couple you know couple months i do the same steps that i took outside inside but since i cleaned the inside just last week like i cleaned the whole truck inside and i did the same thing on the windshield that's why i'm only using um the glass cleaner inside the truck also on this time I forgot, but inside you could also put. Oh no, actually I didn't forget. So you guys are gonna see. So right here I'm doing the same thing on the windows, the inside part. You want that clean too because you know when we breathe in oxygen and on um, retail um carbon dioxide, all that stuff it gets 
you get stuck in um you get stuck in the in the windshields and the windows and you want to get rid of all of that because with time it accumulates and you get dirty windows and windshield so that's why you always gotta make sure you clean it and also um the plastics from the sun on the dash evaporate some um what's it called some oils and it get it makes the the windshield get a little hazy even though windshields have UV um are supposed to be UV protected but it's always a good habit to clean the inside of the windshield here guys new microfiber towel for the last step this is the the step that I love especially because I'm using um this griot some um, on um, this griot um, spray wax I love this spray wax because it smells like I don't know it has some some very um nice smell I love it so on this case a little goes for you just need a little bit and you could do the whole windshield like you see that that's a little bit too much what I did right there you could just get away with um three sprays three four sprays for the whole windshield the reason i did that is because since it's hot outside i didn't want it to dry so quickly so and um again you use one side of the microfiber to spread the product and then the other side the dry side you use it to buff it if you happen to have a lot of microfibers it's always a good habit to use one dry towel just to buff the 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 product and want to spread it so in this case i only had four microfibers for microfiber towels so i had to use half to spread the product and half to buff it yeah i'm doing the passenger side and as you guys can see look how beautiful it looks already crystal clear guys that's what you want you want to be safe on the road and um i know a lot of people get lazy and this is why you gotta use the wax because that's gonna make it um it's gonna make it beat the water and for next time that you're gonna clean it's gonna last longer as well and next time you clean it since it's, it's you put in a little bit of protection on the windshield it's not gonna get as dirty so it's gonna last you a long time so make sure you guys don't forget this step the spray wax here uh, I'm inside again the the truck and this was the step that I I was I thought I forgot but I remember I did it when I was doing the video um that I put on um, spray wax inside the windshield as well inside the truck because like I said you know we breathe out um, carbon dioxide and you know the oils that evaporate from the dash you want to put some kind of protection so it doesn't stick to the windshield but it sticks to the wax itself so next time you just you just you can if you do this like every two weeks you just clean the windshield with the glass cleaner this time and then apply the wax again and you could do the the whole uh, magic eraser thing every couple months you know but after this you every two three weeks you just use the glass cleaner because you know when um wax gets too hot it, it starts to fade so you want to be applying the spray wax every two three weeks guys let's see how it beats up water you guys see look gone it's like no water at all as soon as i start driving all those water beads are gonna come off the windshield that's what we want so guys if you like this type of content please make sure to subscribe and like the video guys look how clear everything views look at the mirror i put it on the mirror look perfect no obstruction i can see clearly everything no problems and because of the wax it beats water and it's gonna make it a lot easier to clean next time